Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It is Frugal Family Food Friday and I'm really excited to be your host today. Um, since it is August, Amanda and I put our heads together and decided that a back to school episode would be a great idea. Um, a lot of us are sending our kids off to school or we are starting homeschool. One of the things that we struggle a lot with is a food rut. And uh, I wanted to share with you guys an idea for a lunch. Now, for those of you who send your kids off to school, this is something that you can prepare ahead of time and freeze. And then the night before, just set it out, throw it in your kids' lunch boxes with some vegetables, with some apple slices, um, and maybe a little packet of ketchup. And this will be a nice change up from just the regular sandwiches. We are making corn dog muffins. Um, now, the, the recipe that I saw on Pinterest showed someone using um, the box of Jiffy cornmeal mix. And since I am frugal, I make things from scratch. So um, I'm going to show you really quick how I just make a simple cornbread mix, but how I'm gonna shake it up a little bit to make this even more special. So the first thing you're gonna need is two cups of self-rising cornmeal. I keep mine in, a, in an old ice cream bucket to make it easier to scoop out. To this, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil. I would normally put melted bacon grease in this, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use this. You could also use canola if that's what you have. Um, and then I'm going to add an egg. And if you want to make this a little sweeter, you can add uh, a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar, but I'm not going to do that because I'm gonna make mine a little more savory. Um, let's see, I am going to break this egg and I'm going to pour in milk. I, I eyeball this when I make it, so I don't know how much milk I'm actually gonna use, but I'll tell you what's left when I get done. So, but yeah, you're just kind of looking for a thick batter. Okay, am I a little bit more? Okay, I ended up using the whole contents of this cup, so it was about a cup and a fourth is what I used. And that's exactly, it's perfect. Tip it. So this is about the consistency that you want. It's pretty thick, but it's spoonable. Fold in some sharp cheddar cheese. Um, usually it's cheaper to buy the block and shred it yourself, but in this case today, it was actually cheaper just to go ahead and buy it shredded. So I'm gonna add, that's probably about, that's probably about a cup. Okay, so I just added about a cup of cheese and now I'm gonna just stir this in. And now I'm just gonna use an ice cream scoop. I had my kids um, go ahead and line these with paper. You don't have to do that. You can certainly just oil your cups, but I'm all about easy and less mess. So we'll see how many this makes. I'm not sure. to make 12 muffin tins. I'm gonna go ahead and make a half, another half a batch because I've got, I'm gonna to have too many hot dogs. But all I've done is I've taken some hot dogs, I cut them in half and then I cut them in half again. And all you do is you just stick this in the middle, oops, just like this. Okay guys, so um, I have got my oven preheating to 400 degrees. I'm gonna pop these in. It's probably gonna take about 15 minutes or so to, uh, to bake. And while we're waiting on that, I'm going to make some broccoli and cheese soup to make this a meal uh, for a good supper. And I also have a dessert, so keep watching. And I wanted to throw together a dessert. I don't really know if you could call this a healthy dessert, but anyway, what I'm making for you today is banana bread cookies. So this is something that'll be easy to pack in a lunchbox. It'll be easy to keep in the freezer if you want to make a bunch of head. So here we go. Uh, first, I'm going to cream my butter. My one egg. I 
have actually never made this before. I saw the recipe on Pinterest and thought it sounded good. So we're gonna try this together. We're gonna add our brown sugar. And our vanilla. This vanilla was actually gifted to me by my cousin and his wife. Hey, Jared and Jennifer. Um, this uh, vanilla is from Cozumel. And it is straight vanilla. It is, there's no alcohol in it. And it smells incredible. So I'm going to use a big old tablespoon of that. And now we are just going to cream this together. So it might get a little loud. Hashtag real life. Okay. Scrape the sides down. Okay. Now I am going to add in the bananas. These bananas were actually in the freezer. Um, I set them out and let them thaw. I cut the ends off of it and the banana just slid right out. I had to pour some of the water off, but I've mashed the rest of it. And I'm just gonna fold this into our mixture here. It looks really disgusting. Okay, scraping down the sides again. I'm gonna turn this on high. And then I'm gonna start mixing my dry ingredients in a separate bowl. Okay, it's one and a third cup of flour. I need a cup of oats. Maybe a little more, but that's okay. So this is a teaspoon. Okay, a teaspoon of nutmeg. A teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of baking powder. Baking soda. Now we are going to give this a good stir, add it into our wet ingredients, and mix. Oh, also the recipe calls for, if you wanna add nuts or raisins or dried cranberries, you can, but my husband doesn't like nuts, so we are going to leave these out. So I'm gonna add half the mixture. Half the rest of the mixture. Like Christmas, all right. Scrape it down, give it one more stir, and then this is gonna go in the refrigerator covered to chill for 30 minutes. Then we're going to um, scoop these out with a little ice cream or with a little melon baller and onto a cookie sheet, bake it at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And when we do that, we will come right back. Just pulled some things out of the oven getting ready to put some more in the oven um, this batch of cookie batter um, it's really more of a batter than it is a dough um, made 20 and these are really light and fluffy um, and I told the kids we haven't tried it yet but I said this is I bet this is gonna be like a banana muffin top so um, anyway looking forward to trying it so let's dig in Okay guys, um, we're gonna cut into one of these and see what it looks like. So as you remember, this is a cornbread mix with some sharp cheddar cheese stirred in. We quartered hot dogs, stuck them down in the middle. And let's give this a try. Hmm, getting to think maybe the paper wasn't such a great idea. Okay, here we go. That's what it looks like in the middle. All right. 
All right, you guys want to give us a taste test with me? Okay. It's corn dog muffins. What? Corn dog muffins. Mm. I hope it's good. You might think it's too bready, but we'll find out. I should have. Here's what I would have done differently before even taste testing it, is I would have cut the hot dogs up in little pieces and just stirred it through the batter because it looks like that would be easier to eat. And then you would have hot dog in every bite. So, not bad. bad. A little dry, but I think if you dip it in ketchup, it'll be, it'll be good. Mm -hmm. And we've got soup to go with ours. I think this would be really good with chili. Yes. Okay, so this was the um, this is the banana bread cookies. It's very soft. I'm getting thumbs up behind the camera, but anyway, it's very very soft. Sugar. You can see it's very moist. That would even be good with chocolate chips in it. What do you think? Banana. Banana. Oh. It's banana bread cookies. So something else that would be good to throw in your kids' lunchbox or offer them at snack time. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, don't forget to check for the playlist, which I will put in the iCard up in the um, corner there. And don't forget to check out all of our other previous Frugal Family Food collaborators. So thanks a lot for watching, and until next time. Mm -hmm.